there beautiful beings and welcome to my sacred space my name is raven and thank you so much for being here today we get to have a look at the cards of the signs of the times oracle by crystal banner this one has 44 cards this is a new deck well you know i wouldn't really call it new <laughs> because i did purchase this last year um, and it is included in my year end haul so if you're interested to see the decks that i purchased i think i got 12 decks in total for my year end haul it's just there somewhere in my channel um so yes this is published by hay house and i got this during a sale so i wouldn't even mention the <laughs> the price of the deck so this is the sign you are waiting for. I just noticed now that it is a little bit skewed, but yeah, that's just me. Um, okay, if you are here to just admire the images or if you're just interested to see how the cards look like, please check out my description box. It will have a timestamp so you can just jump to that part because here in my channel, I do talk about the packaging, the box, the guidebook, and all of that. So here you have, this is the sign you're waiting for. It's basically what it said um on the back side all right so let's check out the guidebook it is of matte paper which i find is very nice and then here we have crystal banner as you can see you know it's not really that perfect but oh well i mean if you are kind of like the kind of person who hates misaligned lines or whatever then yeah this might bother you but if not then i guess it should be fine so crystal banner is an experienced intuitive artist and creator who is passionate about making self-discovery accessible and spiritually more inclusive very true in 2017 crystal founded kaleido kaleido kaleidodope <laughs> that's a cute name a creative hub that specializes in stationary self-published decks art and design inspired by color and culture. She's the author of a range of card decks and also works as a professional intuitive reader. Ooh, I'm keen to see her other works. Okay, so this one, um, this specific deck was picked up by Hay House and mass produced um, 2022. It doesn't say which month though. Okay, so let's have a look. So we have the table of contents. I love that it's all in one page just so that it's easier for people to see. If you want to find a specific card, you know, it's it's just it. it it's just there in one glance, okay? So you have, all right. Okay, invocation. Okay, so this is your way to consecrate your deck, to connect with your deck, transfer energy onto your cards. So the usual. And then working with the signs of the Times Oracle. So a little bit of introduction about the deck that she created. And then readings, make yourself, make your environment as comfortable as possible. Take three deep, okay, so these are like instructions um, on how to perhaps make your readings more meaningful. Do you know what I mean? Like starting, how to start reading, okay. And basically just like a full on instruction guide on how to start reading. If you are a beginner, then I guess, you know, this is really good because the guidebook really goes into the details. Okay, so card spreads, okay, so she talks about what spreads are and then she provides a spread okay so there are diagrams so that's pretty good as well so single card spread this would be your you know one card daily pull you have three card spreads and you have you can choose if it's like a past present future situation action outcome blah 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 okay give me a sign spread okay i like that one i'm excited to try this one and then onto the card meanings so you have the title or the number of the card the title the keyword and of course, like a, a visual representation of the card. This is not colored, as you can see, but I guess that will do. And then you have a background about the evil eye, which is, you know, the card that's here. So a background about the card that you picked and you have additional meanings. Okay, and, you know, what you can do to protect yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Make time for fun. Yeah, action things are like really key points that you can actually work on and do. All right so it's a very thin deck uh, i mean sorry it's a very thin guidebook but i feel like you know you would have enough information and then you have acknowledgements about the author and, and voila that is it right let's have a look at the cards i'm gonna set this here okay so nothing in the back i love that it's the color is like yellow and blue i love the color combination by the way, it's coming off as bright yellow in my screen or in my camera, but it's not as super bright. It's not McDonald's yellow. It's a bit pale, which is cute. 
I think this is really cool. It is matte, which I love. And this is really hypnotic and it's so cool to have a look at it. I think it's just, I don't know, it's strange, but the middle part seems like it's glowing when in fact it isn't. I, but that, there you go, that's your optical illusion. Um, in terms of the cardstock, it does have pretty good cardstock. It is quite on the thicker side. Well, you know, in relation to other Hay House decks. Um, my, which one is that? The Colette Baron Reed Enchanted Map Tarot is like super way, uh, sorry, Enchanted Map Oracle is super way for it thin this one isn't and i am so happy about that i think i feel like the creator perhaps had a say on the cardstock because this one's really good size is your typical hay house cardstock size so nothing else to say about that i'm gonna flip the cards over i'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit more so that you'll have a better view of the cards and we'll begin with the flip through There you go. That is your Signs of the Times Oracle by Crystal Banner. Um, I mean, really, this is such a refreshing deck just because I do have a lot of decks that are like super jam packed with a lot of symbolisms, a lot of, you know, a lot of things going on, like my um, Nature's Whispers deck, my Angela Hartfield decks. They're, they're really just packed. And I, I used it before I did this. Um, review and yeah that's why i'm saying you know it is refreshing to actually just have something just one thing to focus on when you're doing your reading which is like i said you know it, it's a good thing um i we really, i think it's really cool that they were able to insert the signs signs <laughs> the symbols in you know modern situations um like this one instead of like putting just an evil eye i don't know like keychain or an evil eye like decoration in the house they inserted or they added it on a laptop like a sticker so i think it's really cool that they were able or that crystal banner was able to connect it with the modern times this is a yin yang necklace and i think it's really cute against the pink gradient background it is super straightforward it's super simple but you know there's beauty in that do you know what i mean sometimes my mind or my eyes would just want to just look at something and just see or find the message immediately and not have so many things jumping at me do you know what i mean 
of course, you know, it depends on how you feel or what your mood is when you're doing your reading. But sometimes you just want to have like a refreshing, straight to the point reading. <laughs> so I think this is really cool. I'll probably reach for this deck when, you know, I have a lot of things going on in my mind and I just would like a straightforward answer. I think this would be the perfect deck for that. I love this one. I love the angel numbers, how, you know, she was able to embed it in this receipt, which is super cool. And, the, and then, you know, the play of words is also fantastic. We have the spot. Okay. 272 serendipity very cool you have 12 12 um and then you have 11 11 here i wonder what 90530 is i don't know if that makes sense to you guys please let me know but i don't know i've never really seen that anywhere before very cool this one is also really nice i was looking at er at it earlier and i was thinking oh my gosh what is that it's like, I don't know what that is, but it looks like the game wherein you have like um, a metal ball on the inside, and you're gonna you're gonna have to swi swivel it and switch it, and in, in order for the ball to get to the end. I think it's really cool that they added that. This is really awesome. I love how the red pops out in the image, um, and of course we have an anchor, which is strange to have that on the door. I'm not sure if that's common in other places, but for me it was like f first time seeing this <laughs> um like a full-on anchor on a door which i think is really cool um and then this one is also really amazing <laughs> i love it against the i guess that's maybe like a counter in your kitchen right so maybe these are signs that you can actually see um on a day-to-day -day basis you know and maybe you can relate it to this deck reminds me of rose of titanic but i haven't seen that movie <laughs> crazy i know right but i really haven't seen titanic i love this representation of the mirror and you know without even having a look at the guidebook what this means to me immediately when i saw it is that you know we are all a reflection of each other and i love how they use a disco ball because the disco ball has a ton of mirrors in it right small mirrors but at the end of the day it's still one thing and i feel like you know my intuition is just really trying to get these words out right i feel like at the end of the day this is all us the collection of consciousness that's us we are we are all this huge um disco ball but each and every one of us represent these tiny mirrors but you know at the end of the day we are one do you know what i mean i hope i'm making sense i'm gonna have a look at the guidebook right now just to see if that is what crystal was trying to convey here but let's see who are you, you maybe asking yourself this question since this card holds an energy of depth and discover discovery a mirror a still puddle a disco ball these surfaces all reflect what is put in front of them and this card and this card is encouraging you to do the same take a few moments for yourself and tap into your intuition thoughts and emotions day-to-day -day responsibilities can of what can often i hope they you know i, I it would have been better if they didn't use hyphenation at the end i mean in in this sign you can actually tick the hyphenation box so that you won't have that right so you won't have cut off letters i think it's more easier for the readers but i digress anyway day-to-day -day responsibilities can often distract from taking the time to go within so make time this card signals contemplation and the type of produ productive reflection that brings epiphanies you are developing a deeper understanding and acceptance of yourself which is an amazing thing this can manifest as taking time out for self-care, meditating more often, or writing in a journal. Give yourself grace as you reflect on your life and how far you have come. Just be careful not to fall so in love with your own reflection that you stop seeing the beauty in other beauty in world. What? <laughs> Just be careful not to fall in love with your own reflection that you stop seeing the beauty in the world around you and the signs and symbols there calling out to you, guiding you. Mm, okay well she knows she has a completely different message or uh, a different description and meaning for this specific card but i'm gonna stick with my own <laughs> just because it has more meaning to me do you know what i mean and sometimes i really do that even if it doesn't connect with what the artist's initial intention is for the card you know that's fine because you know these are your cards and you can actually come up with your own meanings. Do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> Hello again, recycle, recover. This is really cool. It also has like um, a tone of being responsible with nature. 
Do you know what I mean? So I think it's really cool because when we recycle, we're allowing the universe or, or Mother Earth to actually recover. And, you know, we're just picking up after ourselves, making sure that we put the right trash in the right bin. And that's something so minimal. But at the same time, you know, it is one step to recovery. I hope I'm not just blabbering here and I hope I'm still making sense. But I just finished a reading, so I am quite still there. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so this is strange. But when I was looking at the card earlier during the flip through, a thought just popped in my head and I was thinking, hmm, how many percent water are humans made of? Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like the moon really has something to do with the tide, right? And for some reason, I don't know, I just connected it. Maybe I'm not making sense. <laughs> Maybe if you know the answer, kind of leave me a note there and, you know, tell me, hey, you know, Raven, you're being cray cray. But I feel like, you know, the moon has an effect on tides, right? On the ocean and... Since we are made of water, maybe, you know, it really does play a part in our emotions. But, you know, sometimes I can't sleep when it's full moon and, you know, sometimes I feel kind of cranky during, I don't know, like uh, a gibbous moon or something. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think that it's a good um, choice. Gosh, I hope I'm making sense. I like this one. Oh, and she has her last name there. Okay, cowrie shells. This is so cool. This is a really good representation of fences or boundaries. You know, everyone's aware of fences, right? And we all know what it represents. So I think it's easier for people to connect to it. I love that they made it simple, but at the same time, very easy to relate to. Do you know what I mean? This is another um, example of how the artist got creative. You know, instead of just like putting a, a lotus flower there, you know, th they managed to insert the modern twist in it like stamps on letters with lotus flowers i think that's pretty cool this is really awesome like a painting with a crown and it's abstract too so pretty cool skulls i'm not sure about endings though i don't know i really don't know <laughs> this one's really cool yes globe positivity possibility I like this one as well. Of course, we all know what a, a traffic cone means, right? And no, not the VLC player, VMC player. <laughs> like an actual traffic cone. Beautiful card. I love the gradient on the sunflower. I think it's just really pretty. Um, this is also really cool. Power lines, beautiful background. This is a really nice card. Again, you know, not just an actual B, but... A bee on a coffee sleeve just be coffee <laughs> that's so cool i think this is a really good symbolism of resilience as well you know succulents they live even with like super sparse water so that's really cool i think this is an awesome deck a it's very straightforward not a lot of people will probably like the super simplicity in it but i think it's it's beautiful. It makes it elegant, at least for me. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's shuffle this deck. I'm gonna shuffle it sideways because my hand still hurts from Magnus's fight. It's healing well, actually, and I'm gonna get my last shot of um, the anti rabies vaccine. What's today? Tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm so excited to get that done and over with. He's being a good boy. He's eating right now, not being too noisy. Um, but yeah, he's still not... Ow, ow. <laughs> it hurts. So he's still not okay with his mom. So I really can't shuffle super well. <coughs> Excuse me. Because my hand, it still hurts. But I'll try again. Like, I can't really... I mean, it healed. The surface healed already, but I can't put a lot of effort on my hand yeah it, ow yeah that hurts it hurts <laughs> but i'll do it for you guys yeah it shuffles really well the car stock is amazing it is fantastic i like it i like that it's matte i like that the you know the thickness is pretty good it also snaps back which is amazing i'm gonna try to shuffle it this way very easy as well you know with it being a matte deck um it's not super slippery as with a glossy deck so that is it gosh i don't know if i just kept on talking and talking and talking but i would love to hear your thoughts what do you guys think about this deck do you want it 
Do you already have it? Let me know what you guys think. I love conversing with you. And again, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button or subscribe to my channel for future videos like this. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye!